I never expected that a simple request from my mom to stop biting my nails would lead to such a surprising turn of events. At first, when she applied that vibrant pink nail polish, I resisted, arguing that boys don't wear such colors. Mom chuckled, agreeing that I had a point. Little did I know, that trip to the store would redefine my outlook. Mom, in her wisdom, decided that if I couldn't wear pink nail polish as a boy, then perhaps I should explore a different style altogether. Off we went, and soon, I found myself trying on a matching pink skirt and cropped top. As if that wasn't enough, we ventured into the realm of feminine footwear with a pair of delicate shoes featuring a small heel. The transformation didn't stop there. In the hands of a skilled stylist, my hair underwent a feminine makeover. The mirror revealed someone unrecognizable, not a boy worried about nail polish, but a genuine, cute girl ready to tackle the world. As we strolled through the aisles, I couldn't help but marvel at the irony of it all. I might have started with a simple protest about nail polish, but now, I looked like a sissy girl enjoying a shopping spree with her understanding and supportive mother. Life has a funny way of surprising you when you least expect it. As my nails grew longer, the habit of nail biting became a distant memory. Surprisingly, I found a sense of liberation in this newfound expression of femininity. The pink skirt, the cropped top, the delicate shoes, they weren't just an outfit they became a part of who I was. Life as a sissy girl brought unexpected joy and excitement. With each passing day, I embraced the freedom to express myself in ways that transcended societal norms. My mother, understanding the positive impact this transformation had on me, supported my decision to stay a sissy girl. The once mundane routine of being a boring boy seemed like a distant past. Instead, I reveled in the vibrant colors, the flowing skirts, and the subtle heels that added a playful rhythm to my steps. The world around me became a canvas to explore, and every outing turned into a new adventure. There was an undeniable thrill in challenging conventions, and I found a community of like-minded individuals who celebrated authenticity. Life as a sissy girl was more than just a remedy for nail-biting. It became a journey of self-discovery, self-acceptance, and the unapologetic celebration of individuality. In time, I mustered the courage to express my desire to remain a sissy girl to my mother. To my delight, she embraced my decision with open arms, recognizing the genuine happiness it brought into my life. As the days turned into weeks and weeks into months, I learned that breaking free from societal expectations allowed me to discover a world where being different was not just accepted but celebrated. Life as a sissy girl wasn't just fun, it became a testament to the power of self-expression and the importance of embracing one's true identity.